plan. That was kind of, yeah, that was treacherous for some reason. You it's made the it, shoes. You made it safely. You know yeah. what? You are so cool, though. Like, even your walk-in, that was cool. Like, you high-fived. You didn't miss a single hand. When I high-five, there's like a 97% chance I'm going to miss. <laughs> no, yeah. I was nervous about that, trust really? me. <laughs> I was definitely thinking that. I think it would have been uh, much more efficient to maybe just keep my yeah, hand out. Like that. Yeah. yeah, and then I was like... But there was a personal connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. A hand for you. Hello. A hand for you. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. I didn't realize that both of your parents were in the entertainment business. Oh, really? Yeah, we've never talked about that. That's I, crazy. I mean, I feel like I, I don't think I knew that. Yeah. So your dad was a stage manager. Yeah. And your mom was a script supervisor? Yeah. Wow. So, you know, the script supervisor, when I worked uh, on, on a TV show, it was like the bane of my existence because I could never remember my line. <laughs> and the script supervisor would say, you know, you screwed up that last line. I'd be like, I know. Right. And she'd say, it said this way. I go, I know if I could remember it, I wouldn't have screwed it up. Yeah. Yeah. So your mom has like the toughest job, don't you think? Totally. I mean, it's you're like sort of the keeper of the Bible. You're sort of... Um, yeah, everyone's go-to. So when you went into show business, did she say to you, learn your lines? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I think it was more like, like uh, I'm really, really terrible with continuity. I never, ever think about it. I'm yeah. always, like, drinking this hand. Um, uh, like, yeah, super impulsive and really annoying to technicians, probably. Right. Um, so, yeah, she, I've never worked with her, but I'm, I'm sure that she would probably annoy me, too. I'd be like, Mom, it's not about that. <laughs> it's not do, you, like, do you feel like you started when you were so young? Do you feel like you were more comfortable on a set because your parents were involved in the business, or they were more comfortable letting you get started at such a young age? I think... Conversely, they were uncomfortable. They were like, this is a bad idea, Chris. Like, it's not necessarily something you're going to love. Like, I wasn't... <clears throat> Um, I wasn't the most uh, um, actory type of kid. I really wanted to be on set. Like I wanted to be a pirate. I wanted to be like a member of the crew. I wanted to have a job. Like they just came home having like clearly they're clearly wearing the hours that they've spent at work and right. like you, you know. You see it on them. them. Yeah. You know, yeah. The work. Yeah. 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 And so, you found that appealing. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, so that's, that's like so why interesting. I want to. Yeah, and I also uh, heard that you don't really uh, like to read your scripts too much beforehand. It, does that affect your performance? You like to be more spontaneous with your stuff, or? Yeah, I, yeah, I just um, don't work a whole lot beforehand unless it's like. Um, uh, like shedding of whatever little things that make me sort of distinctly me, but I really want to get to the, like, I don't want to hide behind characters and feel like I'm not myself. I want to be like as absolutely visible and sort of like seen as possible. Wow. Um, so in order, I, so I don't want to like construct anything. I, I love the feeling of being like, how did that happen? And like stumbling on it. And so I don't want to know anything like. But so what happens if you work with a director who wants you to like really D delve deep and get into it and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse, th then do you have a conflict or you just find common ground somehow? Yeah, nobody's ever made me do that. Oh, well, <laughs> um, yeah, you must I, be pretty good doing it your way then, right? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, otherwise... Yeah, rehearsal doesn't always mean, like, um, running lines. Yeah. Rehearsal is just, like, getting on the same page and, like, figuring out why you've all been drawn to this thing and, like, meditating on a subject yeah. and, like, ugh. <laughs> um, but, yeah. But I love that you keep that spontaneity in your performance because it feels so fresh and you're discovering, we're discovering yeah, all these moments he's with you. Yeah, Cafe Society, yes. Um, yeah, it's amazing. We've got to talk about that. Yeah. We've got to come back. Mm. Um, but when we come back, uh, we'll find out what it's like taking direction and working with Lydia. So, what's Woody Allen like as a director? <laughs> like, tell me, because, you know, um, Fred broke into his office last night. Have you been to that screening room? No. Oh, you should take a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they're just there for you to borrow. Yeah. <laughs> what's he like? Um, he's funny. He makes uh -huh. fun of me a lot. He does? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, he loves to call me out, which I appreciate, actually. He, he's really not precious with his actors. He really, like, I think it's a sort of test to see if he likes you, if you can take it, and you're not, like, my precious ego is, right. like, hurting so badly. <laughs> when someone like Woody Young casts you in a movie, and you join this incredible pantheon of actors who've worked with him, mm. does it give you a sense of confidence? Like, oh, my gosh, like, he sees, like, does it, does it, is that able to uh, sustain his barbs? Because you know that he put you in one of his films and so believes in you. 
Yeah, it's rad. I mean, I, you know, you feel that like with every, with every movie you make, like uh, I, I sort of would prefer to sort of like audition, even though I haven't had to in a long time. Because right. that, just knowing that that yeah. somebody you went, that yeah, part. exactly. It's like yeah. it's not just because of who you are, because you like get the movie greenlit or whatever. Which right. sometimes, like, I definitely think you know. Uh, could possibly be like why people ask me to do stuff. Yeah. Um, and so it's like, it really takes a meeting where you just go, oh, whoop, we are yeah. drawn to this for the same reason and it is very clear. So I auditioned for it and um, so I've sort of felt like validated in, in getting the part. And does, has he, you know, you, you're about to start your own, your first directing uh, foray. Yeah. Did, did he influence you or is your style, are you taking from all the directors that you've worked with? Or do you have your own style? Or do you not know yet? I don't know. Tell Find me everything. Tell me everything. Because <laughs> you know Fred um, directs too. Oh yeah. So you can ask Fred for mm. directing. <laughs> <laughs> Sit like this. Okay. Right. It really commands respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. And point. Point this is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And when you do this kind of so it's cute. And here's, here's my two cents. When in doubt, wear a baseball cap. Because yeah. they tend to wear baseball caps a mm -hmm. lot. I actually feel you. I got excited yeah. about thinking about like what, I, what I'm going to wear while we shoot. Because sure. usually I'm like, oh, I have to, I'm in a wardrobe. Right. And it's like all about, and I'm like, I don't have to do any of the things. I can literally just dress like yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's fantastic. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Well, go see Kristen Stewart in Cafe Society. It opens Friday.